till now we have seen how to create this form and whenever i click on this how to get this dynamic data okay for categories and for brands so this is how we are going to get the dynamic data and we have written the query for that okay now what we are going to do is now this entire data we have to store inside the database okay so for that we have to create one table let me just come to database here okay, our database name is my store inside that we have brands table and categories table now here i'll just click on new i'll just give the table name as products whatever table name you want you can give as of now i'm just going to give products and totally uh, let me just write here uh, nine i'll just click on go now first i'm just going to give here product id okay for each and every product we are going to have some id so here i'll be writing product id next we are having here let me just come next we are having product title i'll just write here product title product title product title or product name whatever it is then we are having product description i'll be writing here product description then next we are having product keywords then below that we are having select category now as i told you whenever we are inserting here fruits i am not going to insert the title i am going to insert this category id because inside this value i am just passing this category id if you want you can pass category title as well but in this project i am just going to pass ids instead of writing anything here whatever column name we have given inside this tables category table i'm just going to write the same thing i'll just write here category id whenever we are fetching this category product then using this particular column and inside categories whatever column we are having we are going to match that one and we will be getting the products so here i'm just giving the same column name whatever is present inside categories table okay that is category id next i'm just going to give here brand id then after that we are having here images so here i'll be writing product image 1 product image 1 i'll just copy this here i'll be pasting that one product image 2 then again i'll paste product image 3 then finally we are having price i'll just write here product price product price okay now totally i'm having 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 totally 10 columns i'm having this is for product id for each and every product i'll be having some id so i'm just giving this product id then we are just inserting product title so here i have product title column then we are inserting description so for that i'm having then cat keywords then category id and brand id then we are having keywords category id brand id then below that we are having three images 1 2 and 3 three images and finally we are having this price this empty columns you can leave as it is if you don't read this one it is not going to combine with this okay totally we will be having only 10 columns now for product id type will be int product title i'm just going to give varcar okay length you can give based on your requirement i'll just give 100 product description i'm just going to give the data type as varcar here i'll be giving 255 keywords also i'm just going to give 255 minimum is 0 and maximum is 255 then category id will be int okay length if you don't give then by default for integer it is going to take 11 i'll just leave it as it is i don't want to give then for brand id also i'm not going to give any id okay any length for image i'll give here varcar and size let me just write here 255 second also i'm just going to give 255 then third also i'm just going to give here 255 okay let me just write here varcar 255 okay for price if you want to give numbers okay whatever you want you can give but for simplicity i'm just going to give varcar okay later on if you want to change to float or whatever it is you can give that one okay, whatever you want you can give but as of now i'm just going to give here varcar i'll just write here 10 100 i have just written 100 i'll just scroll this now for this product id okay product id should be primary key and it should be unique each same product i cannot insert and each and every product should be having different id so for that i'm just going to give here auto increment and also primary key and while inserting each and every time i don't have to insert the product id so i'm just giving here auto increment now what it is going to do is it is going to increment the value by 1 each and every time whenever i am inserting new product this is going to assign the value for that one and each and every time it will be incremented by 1 now 
now suppose for one product i am having the id as 2 next time if i insert the id will be 3 i don't have to insert the id whenever i am inserting the products and this primary is nothing but this will not allow the duplicate values inside my table so this is must you have to give primary key for any one of the column inside the table now inside this table we are having the product id as primary key we have just given product title description keywords category id and brand id if you want you can give category title and brand title as well as i told you it completely depends on your project requirement what you need and how you want to make your project it completely depends on you you should not be dependent on anyone whatever you want you can make okay you should only know the concepts where you should apply this one once you are able to understand the concepts then you can create or you can do whatever you want okay this is how we are going to create this product table i'll just click on save now you can see totally i'm having three tables i'll just click on products table now inside this products this is the structure of my products table okay, now this now this product table is completely empty we don't have any data inside this now inside this products table we have to add two more columns that is when we inserted the product and what is the status of this product okay so for that let me just come to structure now to add columns i'm just going to tell you how to add i'll just write here add i'll be writing the number i just want to add two columns so i'm just writing here two and after product price i just want to add here we will be having multiple columns wherever you want to add the columns you can give I want to add after product price. I'll just click on go. Okay, I'm just showing you how to insert the columns. If you have not inserted, you can insert in this way. Now I'll be writing here date. Now for date, I'm just going to give the type as timestamp. I'll just write here timestamp. Whenever I give this one by default, at what time I'm inserting the product, that time will be displayed. Then next, I'm just going to give the status okay using this status we can display whether this stock is available or not okay whatever we want we can do if we are having this status now for this i'm just going to give varchar i'll just write here 100 now once it is done i'll just click on save now you can see we are having this query we have just altered our table now date and status product is been added okay this is how if you have not inserted any column you can insert the column as well here for this product id you can see we are having this auto increment okay which means that each and every time i don't have to insert the id it will only increment the value by one and also i'm having this key which means that this product id column is primary in this entire table we are done with this products table we have already created the form to insert the products and also we have displayed the dynamic data for categories and brands now using all those things we will see how to insert the products inside this database now once we have inserted the products inside the database we will see how to display that data inside our home page